Other raises questions about how state police handled a drunk driving incident involving her two teen daughters. Now, uh, it took several days to charge the driver with drunk driving, and state police now say the trooper who responded to the crash is now on administrative duty. Rob Masson reports. It happened here on Easter Sunday on Highway 1085. A drunk driving accident involving a flipped vehicle and a Madisonville mother says she's glad her two teenage daughters survived. It hit so close to home, such a uh, scary moment to think things could have gone so wrong. Karen Davis says her two daughters, one 15, the other 16, had just left home on Easter Sunday to run to the store when she heard the crash. <laughs> It's just a shame because if you commit the crime, you should, you know, it, things should be followed up on and she should have been given a DUI. Davis found her daughter's heavily damaged truck at the stop sign and another vehicle, a 2007 Hyundai Santa Fe upside down in the ditch. Miraculously, no one appeared seriously hurt, but the driver of the other vehicle wasn't talking. Uh, she was only speaking to the policeman on scene and wouldn't and uh, was then brought to a police car to sit and be questioned. Davis says there was evidence of drunk driving at the scene and she says she was stunned to find the other driver, 22 year old Marley Ellis, who was taken to the hospital, was only charged with reckless operation. If the driver had been drunk, we just needed that to be on her record for unfortunately the next time, but she was just ticketed and released. Davis called state police to complain and the investigation was reassigned to Sergeant Derek Clark, who took over from Trooper Brett Dupree. Sergeant Clark got a search warrant for Ellis's blood test taken when she was brought to the hospital. It found Ellis had a blood alcohol level of 0.289, more than three times over the limit. And an arrest warrant was issued on April 26th. That was 17 days after an accident which Davis said could have easily killed her daughters. These were my daughters, so I had to protect them and our community. Um, we need to have it documented. If she was driving drunk, then it needs to be on a record. Sources say Trooper Brett Dupree, who originally investigated the accident, has been reassigned pending an internal investigation into his handling of this case and another case involving a 23-year-old man who was badly injured in a crash near Folsom April 8th involving a Franklinton police officer who was fired after being charged with DUI two weeks after that crash. From the North Shore, Rob Hassan, Fox 8 Local First.